What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. Hulu MO's upcoming series, Modoc, has some new uh, really cool voice additions. Uh, it was reported this week that John Hamm from Mad Men fame will be voicing Iron Man, while Nick DeFillion uh, will be voicing Wonder Man, along with Whoopi Goldberg voicing uh, Pancakes, and Bill Hader uh, voicing both Angela the Screamer and the Leader. They will be joined by uh, already um, voice cast, already, uh, you know, cast um, including uh, Patton Oswalt. Uh, and here's what uh, Modoc is about. The uh, megalomaniac uh, super villain Modoc, voiced by Oswalt, has long pursued his dream of one day conquering the world, but after years of setbacks and failures fighting the um, Earth's mightiest heroes, Modoc has run his evil organization, uh, AIM, into the ground. Outset by Ames leader uh, while also uh, dealing with his uh, troubling marriage and uh, family life. The mental um, or, or, or organism uh, designed only for killing is set to uh, confront his uh, greatest challenge yet. Uh, the other, besides Oswald, the other voice cast includes the likes of Amy Garcia uh, voicing Modoc's wife, uh, Ben Schwartz uh, voicing uh, Modoc's 12 year old son. Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nines, Melissa from Mario, voicing Modoc's 17 year old daughter, Wendy McCurry Covey, voicing a brilliant math scientist at uh, AIM slash uh, Modoc's work rival, with Beck Bennett, John Daly, and Sam Richardson, Sam Richardson uh, rounding up the ensemble. I mean, John Hamm voicing Iron Man, I know lots of people are probably being like, oh, why can't you get Robin Dan Jr. back? Uh, are you going to pay Robin Dan Jr. to appear on a TV show? Yeah. You know how expensive it is to really get Robin Downey Jr. to appear on an anime show like this? Yeah, it's a little expensive to get someone like his caliber on a show like this. So, yeah, I mean, this show's not that expensive to make, I'm guessing. But, yeah, it's like John Hamm, uh, Nate DeFil, I mean, Nate DeFil, this is, just think of it. Now Nate DeFil is not only on a, on a DC property because he's in the Suicide Squad, now he's in a Marvel property. That depends on that one. I mean, cool right there, you know? I love Nathan Fillion, so it could be interesting. Uh, Pan Oswald voicing Modoc is, sounds cool. I mean, they of course dropped like a teaser not so long ago. This show looks awesome. It looks funny. Hopefully it'll be on the same part as let's say the recent show Invisible, I'm guessing. But yeah, I simply can't wait to check the series out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be good. Uh, <clears throat> let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on some of the new voice additions for the upcoming Marvel slash Hulu series Modoc? Do you, do you like some of the voices um, additions? Are you looking forward to check out Modoc? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Super Sorry.